my darling Fumi Nation, how are you? How are we? My name is Fumi Desalovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you guys are so very welcome. I cannot begin to tell you how many requests I got to review the AMVCA Awards 2023. I am so touched. I had to have gotten about 500 and counting. I will always review any award red carpet coming out of Gidi. For those of you that are fellow Nigerians, you know that I am referring to Nigeria. This is one of the most exciting red carpets that I review on a yearly basis because I know my people. I want to tell you a little story before I start. In 2013, here in London, I went to a fashion event. All the supermodels, everybody was there. And Donatella Versace was there. I don't know how we got about talking about Nigeria. I think she asked me, now that I think about it. And as a lot of you know, I am half Nigerian and I am half Gambian. But because I was raised in Nigeria, when you ask me, the first thing I will say is Nigerian. It's just what comes first, but I am half and half. Needless to say, I said I was Nigerian. And Donatella Versace said to me, Nigerians are one of the best dressed people in the world. I echo that. From a world where I have reviewed so many red carpets, I've been on the red carpets, I know celebrity stylists, I know celebrity makeup artists, I know celebrity hairstylists. Nigerians very much do all of that by themselves. We are one of the best dressed, most creative, most fabulous people on the face of this planet when it comes to getting dressed. We there, we are there. It is not Bragasaurus, this is fact. And so as I review this particular red carpet, I am going to hold you to that standard. The pressure is on, but I think you can handle it. A lot of you will be saying, free me darling, I am living and loving your dress. Well, thank you very much. I got this dress at River Island. I'm gonna put up what they put up on their website. Very boring. Mm. So I stripped out the lining. I cut it down the middle. I put it together on top and I put a bow and a ribbon to give it that kind of Celine Chanel vibe just to glamour it up a bit and then I tapered it in the side so that it could give me more of a shape and all of a sudden I had a dress that I would wear to go out in for dinner to a wonderful special event so like I said we Niger we are giddy this is what we do <laughs> we know how to dress and so, my darlings, without any further ado, let us jump into it. We have Ini Edo, and she wore a beautiful black and white dress with exaggerated pieces on the side. They had a beautiful bodice, and it was black lining, and it was absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i lived for it it was super creative it was absolutely oh my god what can i say she looked like a beautiful spider the corset that she had i don't know whether it was specially made i would not be surprised if it was her makeup was gorgeous her nails were beautifully manicured and her hair was pulled back she just let us see the dress the dress was the centerpiece and she gave us a look i loved it i absolutely lived for her i love the dress she looks gorgeous this is a woman that is letting you know 
I'm here for it all. You want a look? I'll give you a look. Then we have Jackie Appiah. Jackie Appiah wore a beautiful, I always say it, uh, Nairobi blue fishtail skirt. That's what it looked like. Her hair was gorgeous, loved her eyebrows. She had a smoky eye. She had beautiful lip, loved the earrings. I loved everything but the top. I don't know why. I don't know why she decided on this top. It would have been so much easier if she had worn a white one. The top wasn't my favorite at all. I can see that she's wearing a beautiful purple clutch bag. That still would have been better than the top that she wore. It just, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. She could have gone with white. She could have gone with silver. She could have gone with anything else but this top. And don't get me wrong. The top was lovely. The shape of it, the structure of it, even the shoulder pads. It was this meshy blue, uh, pinkish, uh, uh, tie and dye-ish that just did not give any justice. It didn't give any justice to this fabulous skirt. Then we had, as far as I am concerned, one of the most fabulous outfits I have ever seen come out of any red carpet anywhere on a global platform. Nana Akua Ado. Sis ate and left no crumbs. She looked like a futuristic queen, like an African futuristic queen. This was so fabulous. I stamped. She looked like an eagle. Oh, there are birds. Yes, that's exactly what's there. There are birds. Cutouts in the waist was precise. But what I live and love were the sheets. Bad mama jama. This is a photo shoot and a half. This was fabulous. She is and she will forever be my best dressed. I don't know who can top this. I don't know. But I would have loved to see her on the red carpet in person. Nana, you did that. You did that. You did that. And you know what's interesting is... I really have not seen the color gray look as glamorous ever as I'm seeing it here. The intricate detail all the way down, the precision, the way that they put in the birds. And this, my darling, is all fabric. I don't know who designed it. You guys let me know down in the comment section. But Nana, for me, anywhere, the Academy Awards, can film premieres, Whatever the weather, Nana came with this outfit and I have never seen another dress match up to this. I feel very ordinary with what I'm wearing in comparison to what she has here. She's my beautiful eagle. This was flawless. The other day, I talked about how Viola Davis looked fabulous, how she finally got it right. Nana put still that Valentino dress, as I loved it, to shame. Beautiful. The makeup, gorgeous. The hair, gorgeous. She just had little earrings and she let the dress do its business. I mean, I don't know what else you want after this. I don't know. This is a beast. This is a beast and a half. Then we had Toy Abraham. Toy Abraham. Let's start with the positives. Beautiful makeup, beautiful hair. I'm really loving my sisters. They are really getting the brows, the lashes, the makeup. They are doing that. Some of the best makeup artists, I will comfortably say, are from Nigeria. 100%. So, when it comes to twins, makeup and hair, beautiful. Manicure, jewelry, beautiful. I even like the dress. I just wish... 
that she had had sheer paneling because I'm not wearing a bra. I'm not wearing a bra. You have to find the right sheer paneling so that it doesn't seep through. So that all you see when it comes to dresses like this is just the dress. And that was what failed for Toyin's dress. It was too cream, and I think they were trying to match her complexion, which they did very well. The situation here was that it was too opaque. So for me, what do you mean by opaque? I mean that it was too, it wasn't sheer enough. It was a very solid fabric. That's what you call opaque. When it is sheer, that, that means you can see through it. And with dresses like this, what you do is that you add one, two, maybe three sheer panels. So what happens? It keeps your dignity intact, but it lets the dress showcase its artistry. And here was the case. The dress is beautiful, but it was taken away by her corset lining underneath. And that still would have been fine if that was the only issue. But Toei has a very short neck. When you have a short neck and small shoulders like that, the worst possible thing that you can do is wear something up to the neck. You have to leave that to the imams of the world. It is what it is. We have to highlight our strong points and we have to make sure we can deflect our not so stronger points. And so Toei has very small shoulders and she has a short neck. The worst thing you can do is give her a high neck. That's the worst. With this fabulous, beautiful, ample bust, they should have gone all the way down. That way, we see her complexion. We see how it travels down. We see her bosom. And all of a sudden, we are looking at our glass. That is one. The straps were too close to the neck. It should have been at, at the very end of the shoulder so that it can broaden her out and even her out. All of us have reflex. As you very well know, I've got super, super dark hands. So it's not as if we don't got something. Everybody got something. And you guys let me know. For me, your dark hands. <laughs> I'm trying to tone them out. So that was what it was for towing. But she's a pretty girl. Pretty girl. I loved where it was going. It just did not go in that direction. And so we have to be mindful. Then we had Mercy Eke. And when I saw Mercy, right away, I just thought of Cardi B. Cardi B did this a minute ago, the second I saw it. But you know what? It is the highest form of flattery, isn't it just? So I loved this version, as a matter of fact. I loved the tight cap on the head. I wish she had gotten rid of all of this in the middle. It wasn't necessary. Make it a strapless dress. I loved the ribbon blue. The Michael Jackson gloves were a hot mess. It didn't work. The shoes were unnecessary. And she didn't need the tail in the back because she already had Star Wars. That's not bad when you make it fashion. She didn't need the sheer sleeves. She didn't need the gloves. She didn't need the collar. She didn't need the shoulder pad. She did not need all of that. All she needed was the cap. She needed the bejeweled turned up collar and give me the strapless dress straight down. We didn't need the tail and then give me beautiful lucite slippers. This would have been a look. This turned out to be a little too much. It's like a toothache. You have too much sugar. You know you're going to suffer. You know your teeth are going to suffer. That's what this turned out. Pretty girl. The makeup, the hair, flawless. The figure, fabulous. The bust, fabulous. She does not have a blemish on this body. Flawlessness. As a matter of fact, Mercy, please help me with my black hands. What are you doing when you have this flawless complexion? I live for it, my darling. I do live for it but it was a bit too much. Natasha Akinde. Natasha Akinde wore a Colbert Royal Blue bejeweled fishtail dress 
with a satin coat and puffy sleeves. She also had accents um, onto her bust where you would normally put uh, nipple covers. She had that there. She's a beautiful girl and I loved the hair. I loved the tassels all the way down. Very soft and cascading. And out in the streets, we heard that this dress cost $20,000. How much does your artist cost? 20k dollars. Take me to court if you don't agree. That's on you, not me. 20,000 dollars, Queen of Titans. Oh, it, like no picking cap. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, tell me who else's outfit is gonna be this tonight? Nobody. I, I haven't seen that person. I'm about to lose my breath. Smiling is the truth. Like who? Show me where. 20,000 dollars. 20,000 dollars. 20k dollars. 20,000 dollars. 20k dollars. Oh my goodness. It's 20k dollars. There is nothing about this dress that shows $20,000. No, 2,000 maybe, but not $20,000. Let us start with the good parts, yeah? I love the puffy sleeves. I love the satin of it. I love the luxury of it, to be fair. And I love the fact that it kind of tailors out. I would have preferred if it really was like a big cape where it had the shoulders and it very much was like a cape where you could just drop it off and you had the shoulders. It would have given more grandeur to the dress. The feathers on the dress is beautiful. They look soft. They look like it's moving. I did not understand the shorts. I did not, un it didn't make sense and it cut it off from the feathers. Feathers where it had the gradient gradual fade tapered down. You had the shorts. I understand why you have the shorts because you want to try it and keep it dignified and of sorts. But then you have the corset and then you have this nipple cover patch and then you have bejeweled around the neck. You have it on the shoulder pads. She had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things going on with this dress. With this dress. She took it off and it still didn't make sense. Because you could see the corset and the shorts underneath. Now here's the thing. And um, you know we are giddy, we are Niger. We're a rich country, but we're also a developing country. And we have a lot of poor people that don't have enough to eat. We have children that don't have enough to eat. We have orphanages where children don't have parents. We have roads that are not completed. We have university students that are not going to university because there are no teachers. You have teachers that have very, very low salaries. I am disappointed that Natasha feels it is some kind of flex to show off that a dress is 20,000 US dollars when that $20,000 could have gone to people in need. Let me just start there. I'm at a stage and age in my life where I need to call it like it is. Nigerians, we do the most, and sometimes we do too much. And it doesn't make sense to waste money like this when we have people in need. It doesn't make sense. Because I want to know, Natasha, Natasha, do you have your house paid off? Do you have money in the bank to take care of all of your children? if and when you do have them, all the way to university, do you have that? Do you give out to charity? I would like to know. I really would like to know because you see, I live in England and I've lived in America and the pressure is on because we see how you have so many organizations that give to Nigeria. And yet we say Nigerians are rich, we spend money, we blow money. We don't need them. If we take care of our own. But we're going to need them when we have somebody like actress Natasha who is spending $20,000 on a dress. I'm not impressed. On top of which, 
the dress is not even worth it. I'm going to call it like it is. You can drag me in the comments. I don't mind. But there comes a point in time where I would say to myself, you know what? $20,000? $20,000. You know, how many people you could feed? How many people you could give clothes to? That you could have sheltered? I would have loved for you to come to the Africa Magic Viewers Choice Awards 9 red carpet and you were nominated for the woman that has made a difference in 2023 because you donated $20,000 to people in need. I would have stood up and saluted you. We have the Juliet Ibrahim. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful face, beautiful hair. I love the beading and the detail on the dress. It was very, very close to her skin tone, but it had a yellow gold hue. And she looked like a beautiful statue, as far as I was concerned. Minimal jewelry, just the earrings. And she just let the beautiful shoulder detail really be her accessory. Clean hands, clean jewelry. I love this orangey blush on her cheeks. Absolutely gorgeous. I lived for her. Yes, Mama, do your thing. The sheer paneling on both sides of her tipped in waist was just giving me woman. And she had orange nails also to detail the beautiful cheeks that she had also in orange. The back was fire. The back is gorgeous. The corset sewn in, in the back. Hair very simple. That eyebrow, gorgeous. And she did like a halo eye. Absolutely complete and intact. Go ahead, Juliet. You're looking fabulous, darling. I live. <laughs> Sandra Essiena was a little bit more creative. She came with this beautiful purple dress. It had purple roses and she had different shades of purple. The corset was purple and then she had like a velvet applique over it and it came all the way down as gloves for her hands. She also has that beautiful hairstyle that I like, that wave, that 1920s wave. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps I would have done without the pearls. I wasn't crazy about the pearl bracelets or necklace. I wasn't even too, too, too crazy about the velvet. If she had just made it a bustier dress, I would have lived for it. But still, it was fun. It was creative. And it was giving me, again, Cardi B at Chanel when she came in and she looked like um, a cake topper. This also looks like a cake topper, but she spun it around and made it unique to her. I would have loved if it was long velvet gloves, all the way high, right up to the corset. She's young, she's got a beautiful complexion. She did not need to have it all the way high necked with that pearl necklace, she didn't need it. All she needed was the velvet gloves if she felt, you know what, I need a little something. The pearls should have gone. The makeup, flawless. The hair, flawless. But the pearls gotta go. Every one of them. The necklace, the earrings, the bracelets, get rid of them. Get rid of the velvet and just have velvet gloves. This would have been fire. This, my darling, would have been fire. I liked it. And the iron of it all, I didn't like Cardi B's dress for Chanel. I didn't like it, but I like this. I like what Sandra did with this. Beautiful, beautiful, just needed some tweaks. But beautiful girl, and you did a good job, mama. <laughs> good job, good, good job, I love it. Pretty girl. We have Venita. Venita gave me Beyonce vibes. Right away when I saw it, I was like, who this? <laughs> I love the dress. I love her makeup. I even love the lip. I think what I would have loved if she had put a gloss over the lip. 
to bring the glamour so that it didn't go in the direction of Star Trek. It went in the direction of 1940s glamour because the short hair, blonde hair was fabulous, beautiful. It gave it the stark contrast to everything. And what I will say about Vanita, and I haven't seen in a minute, she also dressed up her legs. What do you mean by that? I mean that she put on baby oil, lotion, cream, and then she put on some sort of beautiful body highlighter. And it really accentuated all of her, the muscle tone in those fabulous legs of hers. Gorgeous. I'm looking at the detail of the eye. The precision is king. Gorgeousness. I lived for it. The only thing, only, only, only thing, she should have made the lip not matte, made it gloss. And this would have been beyond and beyond. But the intricacy of this dress is flawless. Again, these are Nigerians for you. They know how to pull it together. When you go to a Nigerian wedding, especially for me, I always come back to Europe, to America, feeling so ordinary, like, my God, these Nigers, they are dressing and they are living. This is one of them. This would have been something that you would have said, oh, let us reserve this for Angela Bassett, for the film premiere, for this, that, and the other. This is what Nigerians do on a daily basis. And when I tell you, as beautiful as Venita is, this is not even the best. Go to some Nigerian weddings. When I tell you, the inspiration is beyond. And that was why Donatella said it, that Nigerians are some of the best, well-dressed people of the world. No argument there. Uche Montana. I can't wait for my brows to come out. I can't wait for my shapewear to come out. I can't wait for it because I think that uh, you guys are going to live and love it and it's going to change the trajectory of the way girls are dressing these days in these sheer numbers. Beautiful girl, beautiful makeup, beautiful hair, gorgeous. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try this look because I love that kind of iridescent silver on the lids. It's almost as if stars are dancing on her eyes. She's got a beautiful face and I love the fact that these girls are tapping into let the dress speak for itself and let me do minimum jewelry because the dress is actually a jewel so to speak i love the dress i did not like the opaque underwear that she wore the little skirt and yet i can see that she has a sheer number underneath the beaded dress what you have to do is that you take that same sheer and you layer it one, two, three. For me, what do you mean? You layer it short, one, layer it two, medium knee length, layer it again, third, floor length. And because the fade is so mild, you won't see it. So that you can see the legs and it fades right up to the crotch where you want to hide everything. This opaque is not working because it's distracting from the fluidity of the dress. Other than that, the dress is gorgeous. With the dancing pearls and beads on her arms, she looks like a mermaid from the waters. And she's come to wish us goodwill. Beautiful, soft, delicate, snatch that waist in for the gods. The opaque lining has to be ripped out because it's offensive to my eyes. Yeah, not gonna lie. I'm gonna call it like it is. We have been bought a day moye. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love that bright neon-esque green. 
the Nigerian flag is white and green. But it looks as if Bimbo didn't take a car to the event. She ran through her garden and she took the garden with her because the tail of it has no business being attached to the dress. You know, let me see. I understand OTT. It's also called camp. Camp was what we did last year for the Met Gala. Over the top. It's like me going to go and pick up Adrian like this. We do over the top. You give it to me every which way. But sometimes it can backfire. Sometimes a beautiful thing can be destroyed because you put too much on it. I tell you, it's like when you put salt in your food. You put too much salt, you can't eat it. As delicious as that food is, that salt has spoiled it. This thing at the back spoiled the dress. I love the disproportion, sheer paneling. It's sexy. She's got this gorgeous, curvaceous, beautiful body. I love how it dances over her shoulder. Everything was intact too. I'm just putting my hand across it now just to see. She didn't need the tail. She did not need the tail. Didn't need it. Did not need it. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Dare I say, she could have even put a little baby crown on her head to complete the look. Gorgeous, but she didn't need the tail. Sometimes, my darling, less is more, okay? We have Queen Nkoye. It was nice, beautiful. I like the fact how they did the underlining of this dress as in gray. Like, you know what? We're not going to be able to get around it, so let us make it part of the dress. And it made sense. It makes sense. It was kind of futuristic in a sense, but it was beautiful. I am loving the color gray. You are introducing me to options here. And she looks fabulous. You call yourself queen? You're queen. You're queen. Makeup, fabulous. Hair, fabulous. Brows, lashes, the look, the pose, the dress, not bad. I'll take it. The only thing I might say no, 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 for me. The shoulders are nice. The shoulders are nice. You can do without the shoulders and you can also do with the shoulders. I think it's okay. I say this because she is posing. So because she's posing, I don't know necessarily what the shoulders might look like if they stick out. If they stick out and she looks like a little devil, then that's not a look. But if she's walking and everything looks copacetic, by all means, queen, walk all over us. I don't mind. Because why? Because you're fabulous, mama. I'm going to call it like it is, you know, because you wanted me to review. I am reviewing. Alrighty. Then we had Nengi. Nengi, baby. <whistles> you're a dangerous mama. It was a black chiffon dress. It reminded me of the starlets of back in the day. Marilyn Monroe. Eva Gardner, this was the vroom. The hips, the bust, the waist, I absolutely love this dress. It's just giving me sensuality. She had the sheer paneling on the side and she had all of the embellishments. She had to wear a thong up in there. But because she had the black paneling right down the crotch area as well as the back, she could kind of sort of get away with it. And she just cinched it in at the waist and then she tied it in the back. It's a beautiful dress. I love the dress. I want this dress. I would wear this dress. She got it right. Might I add, as I'm looking, I think her panty is very, very close to her complexion and it is high up. So you cannot see it all the way because you see those beautiful hips. I don't know if she's had a BBL. I don't know. But this is one of the nicest BBLs I have seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go ahead, mama. I lived for it. Then we had Toke Makinwa. Toke, baby, how are you? I love her personality. I think that she's done so very well with herself over time. But Toke, I think you should lay off on the surgeries. It's enough now. It's enough, it's enough, it's enough, it's enough. There comes a time where you go so far, you can't come back. And you have to look and say, Toke, is that you? Because you've really changed it up a lot. The dress was giving me um, Cinderella vibes.
Was it nice? Yes. But it was boring. For Tokemakinwa, the way that she gives it to us on Instagram every two minutes with this look and that look, with that sex scene. I don't know whether she was trying to play it safe. She said, you know what, I'm coming out here in these streets. Let me go the opposite direction. Maybe that. It was just too safe. For me, are you saying that because she did not show her bust, because she didn't show her thighs, because she didn't show her body, all of a sudden now it's too boring? No. It's a beautiful dress. Beautiful dress for another personality. Not a personality that Toke has worked so hard to show and declare to us. We wanted a hundred over ten. We wanted the fabulosity. We wanted the body. You're absolutely right. Upon reflection, that was what we wanted. We did not want this goody two-shoes dress. I'm speaking for myself. Let me know in the comments. But that was how I felt. Then we had Kiki. I love the hair. Love the makeup. I love the jewelry. I love the nails. I love her manicure. I like the dress and I love the tail. Again, it was giving me um, old Hollywood vibes. And I was very nervous because I wasn't sure how the back of the dress would look. And it was beautiful. If it wasn't for the strategic placing of the who's, this dress would have given carpet vibes, but it didn't. It was close, but it didn't. She worked it like a dream, and she made sure that her accessories were red to really bring out the rose. She looked like a rose, but she looked like that rose that says, don't play me because I also have thorns. That was what she was giving me, and I lived for it. I am beautiful, but I'm dangerous. All right, mama, go ahead. <laughs> Mercy Ayigbe. Love the hair. I am loving the makeup. I love the back of the dress and I love the detail of the dress. I didn't care for the shoulder pads or the back of it, of that detail. I think that it was a little too much. And if you notice, a lot of the dresses are given the same vibe. The bejeweled sleeve, tied in, in the waist, the beautiful fishtail. You have to switch it up sometimes. Sometimes there are dresses that don't need that because ultimately you are going to wear it and it will be unique to you. You don't need the extra shoulder, not at all. This dress would have been fabulous if they had just made it one sleeve. And that was it, my darlings. These were the looks that I loved. And yes, next time I will review the guys. But there were so many beautiful women and I was running short on time today. Hopefully next year, I will be there to interview the celebrities. What do you think, guys? Is that a good idea? Until then, don't forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will see you guys sooner than later. That is it for the AMVCA 9 Red Carpet Awards 2023. Good job, guys. This was a fabulous, fabulous red carpet. Perhaps... I don't know. You guys let me know. I might do a part two because there were so many looks. Let me know if you want a part two because, again, like I said, there were so many looks. Bye. <laughs>